For us, Christmas Ireland is opportunity. It's our history and it's the place we call home. My name is Brigitte Lyons. My husband Ron and I moved to Christmas Island in 1993. I run a local gift shop, Lucky Lux. So I've had the shop for, I would say now, 15 years. We sell a special range of all sorts of things. And it's good to have the, the word of the song on inside. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful, thank yes. you. <laughs> we also sell books I created with my daughter. Both are really books that the, the children or adults or anybody that's interested in Ireland would love. Ron, who is in his 80s now, works at a local recreation centre. But he is famous on the island for being Santa Claus. story didn't start on the island. It began in the south of France. That was back in 1963 and Beatlemania was sweeping across Europe. My brother and myself were singing in the nightclub. Bridget walked in and looked exactly like Bridget Barber. I saw Bridget and I said to myself, that is the lady I'm going to marry. Yeah, but that was, I didn't say anything. I know you didn't, you didn't have a chance, did you? <laughs> The rest was history, and we married in 1964 and lived an exciting life. I couldn't speak French. Bridget was not good in English. <laughs> and we had an interpreter who managed to fix us both up. During the 60s, Ron played in nightclubs, and I worked in movies and was modeling. We were working and recording in Paris for the Berkeley Records, and the Beatles publicist, Brian Somerville, came to see us and said, come to the George V Hotel on the Champs-Élysées, you're having lunch with the Beatles. Now this was strange. They were number one all around the world, everywhere, and they were just normal guys. We met some of the biggest names in music, including the Rolling Stones, Jerry Lewis, Chuck Berry, and Little Richard. Eventually, Ron traveled to Australia for work. And in 1993, was offered the job as marketing manager for a casino on Christmas Island. The place was the hub of Christmas Island. It was a place of entertainment. It was a place of good food, beautiful restaurants. It was just Las Vegas. It it's literally great. was. While Bridget worked as security at the casino, it was up to me to bring the big punters in. I was the guy that went out to the Kuala Lumpur, <laughs> Bangkok, Singapore, Jakarta, or Hong Kong, bringing back the big boys. Come and have a look. <laughs> up there. It's just, it's such. Yeah, it's very sad, that's for sure. Very, very sad. They left sad. it go down like that. I loved working here. That was cream on the cake. It was great. Everybody was friendly. There was no nastiness between the staff, you know. It was just good. <laughs> We both lived a vibrant life, filled with travel and rock and roll forever. But you just can't beat the community spirit on Christmas Island. 
It is unlike anywhere we've been in the world. It's safe. Our grandchildren could go outside and play without a worry in the world, and it's still the same today. And that's why we never left. <laughs>